nephews, uh, her sister Florence's son, Tom Kraft, and Sister Ina, his dear wife. And they're not new to us, and they're not strangers. They have been to us. They have lived with us, been part of our assembly. And even though they live up uh, toward Seminole, is it, for the time? Um, they're still right here near us. And I'm so glad to see you, Tom, yeah. Ina, and of course, Troy, the uh, family, our family, and then our, our family of God. That yes, sure is yes. uh, look around at your neighbor and say, yes. you know there's something about you tonight. <laughs> amen, amen. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. <laughs> something about you. <laughs> something about you. My, 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 my. I'll spend the rest of the service hey, figuring out what that is. Amen. Just the rest of the night thinking, what did they mean? There's something about me. There better be something to study, meditate on. Uh, so we're so happy to see everybody. And, and we want to pray right now. We're not going to make any announcements. We're going to pray. Um, we have um, this virus that's been going through the county of the state and uh, through America possibly. But... Um, whatever it is, it's taking people down for the days, few days, some more than others, according to their immunity system, their strength. I myself went down for the count after the convention. Last, this time last week, I was back in surgery after getting out of the hospital earlier in the day. But God is good, and we're not going to complain at all. We just say thank you, Lord, for giving us strength. And then um, we want to pray tonight for, and you can help me with this, so we'll take everybody that's seriously ill right before God and uh, trust God. Uh, we need to pray one for another. The Bible tells us to pray for one another. The Bible tells us to pray without ceasing. And right. so we're going to um, make mention of some. Brother David Tracy is ill tonight, and that's unusual for him to be out of service, but uh, we want to pray for Brother David Tracy. Um, good to see Brother Buddy and Sister Diane back in service. Uh, here at Kennedy, they had to be out for a few services, but we're back. And uh, then we, we want to pray for Sister Sherry Harris. Uh, she isn't usually missing from the praise team here unless she's ill. And so let's pray for her, but not only her, but Dean also, I was over yeah. to see Dean yesterday, and uh, along with uh, Brother Rhodes and, and Brother Embry back here, but they, uh, Dean really needs our prayers, that God will, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, help him with this uh, area that he's dealing with, not only his feet continue to heal up, it's a serious matter, uh, and that's happening, God is giving victory there, uh, but then also uh, his immunity system that is so weakened that he can't be around anybody uh, lest he take a virus and it really, really hurt him. So let's pray for Dean Harris tonight and uh, Sherry and ask God to be all right, Brother Warren. Yeah, my daughter, Amy, takes care of a person. He's got Lou Gehrig's disease. And his wife is crying by his bed all the time. And uh, uh, Amy relates to me. And I said, Amy, we'll pray for him. Uh, you know, and his wife. Now, she led, led his wife to the Lord because she never knew the Lord, you know. And uh, I, the poor man is laying there with tubes and, and his stomach and his mouth. <coughs> and I just thought, uh, you know, pray for them. Yeah. What is the name, Brother Warren? His name is Charlie, and uh, Charlie. his wife's name is Tracy. Right. And they're beautiful people. I haven't mm -hmm. met them, but I've talked to them on the phone. Right. right. Let's take Brother Warren's request in prayer there. Yeah. Um, and uh, there are Sister Judy Schock here on the ground always. Yes. We yes. miss Judy so much <coughs> in the services. Yeah. And uh, Sister Beverly... Uh, Eason was taken to the emergency room late this afternoon, and I assume that's where she still is in Manatee right now, unless they brought her back. Did they bring her back? They did 
bring her back? No, she's been admitted. Been admitted. Yeah, she's been admitted. Yeah. She's dehydrated very badly. And um, let's remember Sister Beverly Eason tonight in prayer. Uh, Sister Amy? Sister Evelyn Gennaro. Sister Evelyn Gennaro. She's what, 92, 93? Not quite. Uh, 90, somewhere in the round 90 or so, Evelyn Gennaro. All right. Uh, good to see Sister Sheena back in the service. Bibbins yeah. here. Missed her while she had to be out. And Sister Leilana, she's able to be back tonight. Yeah. Missed her. Um, so we want to just keep praying for all of God's people. Uh, pray for the ministry, uh, wherever they are tonight, wherever God sees them, and he sees them all, wherever they are. Sister, I talked to Bill today, and Bill's sick too. So. Yes, we we're missing Brother Bill Schoen uh, this week, so let's keep him in prayer. Uh, anyone else uh, that wants to be on the prayer list, Brother Butch, and then I'll come down to Patty here. I have two, Mary and Johnny Burstman called, and uh, they had a death in the family, so they had to go out of town and they asked that we pray. And then I asked that you play for the Robert Creel family. They put him in bed today, and I believe that. Carol's brother-in-law, uh, right, Robert Creel, let's remember him, he may be going home uh, to be with the Lord, let's remember Roger Van Fleet uh, over in Palmetto, and Ginger Hodges back in Oregon tonight, and uh, that God will be with her, and uh, Steve out there, and Patty, did you have a request? Yes, um, for my husband, he's out sick too, he got the same thing I had, I was out last week, was able to make it. For the Brother service. Bernard's down for the count. We miss him. <coughs> All right, let's pray for Brother Bernard Gerard and ask God to be with him. Um, pray for all of God's people. Let's remember Brother and Sister Edwards. Brother and Sister Edwards, uh, Sister Jeanette, Brother Woodrow, uh, they, they're up in years and they've been out now for about three, four, almost a month. Um, so let's remember them in prayer. Right, so these are ones among us, Sister Diane. Continue to pray for me. I've got six more weeks of radiation, and I'm getting to the place where they're making me quite tired, especially when you're working 10, 12 hours a day. Yeah. Yes, my, you have six more tired. weeks of the chemo treatment. Radiation. No radiation, treatment. not chemo. Radiation. Oh. All right, let's remember Sister Diane especially tonight. And uh, <coughs> then we want to remember Brother Don Merriman. I talked with him yesterday on the phone, and Brother Don is frail, and he's on oxygen, and he's undergoing chemotherapy treatment. Let's remember him, uh, his daughter Cammy, and Brother Manny uh, has also been ill this week, and they're out. Uh, let's remember them. All right, any others? Brenda Palmer and I heard that Monica Shock was sick also. Monica's Brenda's ill. Palmer. Let's remember her and Brenda Palmer, and. Uh, all right, these are ones that are among us and part of our family here in prayer. And we're taking good time tonight. Uh, that's the right time should yes, be used for this uh, to call their names and let you be conscious. I don't ever forget the age uh, in the nursing homes, Don Norman, Matthew Handley, and um, Sister Barbara Hines in the assisted care. And then Brother Bernard over here, Solange's husband, at home, uh, each one of these. There's many people that's attached to this work. If everyone were here tonight and calls this their church home, uh, most every seat would be filled. And um, we want to uh, pray for God's people that they will be helped of the Lord. Again, I want to commend the church, and I'll leave it and go and won't make mention anymore of the wonderful. A wonderful job yes, you did you. in this 2016 convention. Praise it God. was tremendous. And I want to commend the church on that. You did a wonderful, wonderful job. You did a wonderful job. Right. And they're saying uh, we have email coming in from Africa, Canada, um, Haiti, <laughs> different places, commending the church on what a meeting. Uh, that it was, and how the Lord uh, fixed things and did things. And um, uh, Sister Patty will know what I'm saying here. The Lord did a great work uh, in uh, fixing an area uh, that uh, 
she has uh, been undergoing, and, and I want to commend Brother Catron out in uh, Las Vegas. Uh, Brother Catron may be listening tonight, I hope he is, and watching, uh, but I want to commend Brother Catron uh, for a wonderful, wonderful work here in the convention. Yes. And the Lord using him yes. as a minister, as a man of God. I want to commend the Las Vegas Church. And uh, Brother Catron will be with us the last week in March, by the way. Uh, he'll be here from Praise Las Vegas. Uh, Brother L.G. Catron. And he's a wonderful uh, Bible teacher. And, uh, and he gives some real lessons in the Word of God. And so we want to thank God for these ministers that came. And uh, I did, uh, they labored, and they came in the right spirit, and the Lord helped them, and the Lord helped the church, and the work was done for Christ, and I say thank God for it. I give God the praise. Whom should we praise but God? Whom can we praise but the Lord? And he's the one we praise, isn't it? We don't praise men. We don't praise each other. We praise God that works in men and through men and with men and women praise the name of the lord so we're going to praise pray god pray right now to the lord and ask him to help us and just go with us in every word every song tonight said done and witnessed and we're just glad that you're here and at any time the holy ghost moves upon you uh, this is one church where you can interrupt any sort of script our program that looks like it's been arranged. If it's the Holy Spirit, if it's the Holy Ghost, we want to hear what the Holy Ghost has to say to the church of the living God. At any time throughout this worship service, this is open to the Holy Spirit to speak through you and through you and through me and through the elders and through each one uh, through song, praise, worship. We're here to worship God in spirit and in truth. And this is still the pathway of charity. This is still the pathway of charity. The way of the cross that leads home. Praise God. So we're going to go before him. You can pray on your knees. You can come to what we term the altar. We know Christ is that altar. Or you can pray standing. Uh, you can pray silently. Uh, communicate with God right now. However you do. However the Lord leads you. Those that will join me and feel that, rise up with me and let's lift our voices to the Lord and let's uh, give him the praise and, and let's pray right now. Let's communicate. Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord, as we bend our knees and bow our spirits tonight in the sanctuary of the Most High God. And we pray that you, Lord, will intervene in every thought, in every word, in every deed in this congregation. We thank you already for the praise service. We thank you for Sister Marlowe and the, and the musicians and, and the team of worshipers that lead us in song and music, Lord. And we pray that you will always know we're grateful for every song that is sung, every beat of music, uh, every word of praise. And we're grateful for your people. We're grateful for the children of God that made the miles to come tonight uh, to congregate as the house of God and to worship as the house of God and the Lord's house, uh, the Father's house, and be the house of prayer. And we pray now that you'll receive our petitions of those that are sick and those that are afflicted. Oh God, every request that went out, don't let it fall on deaf ears. Don't let it fall, Lord, by the wayside. But Lord in heaven tonight, through the Holy Spirit, through the intercession of the Holy Ghost that knows what our spirit is saying and searches our heart, we pray that the throne room of God will be filled with the petition of those that need help from God physically and mentally and spiritually and emotionally. But all over this house, there will be a touch from God. There will be healing, uh, there will be deliverance, and, uh, there will be joy, and there will be praise, and the word of God will not fall in vain. And every
everyone that's come tonight will worship you, worship you in spirit and in truth. Oh God, let the Holy Ghost fall. Come in among us and congregate in the hearts of the church, Lord. And let the glory of the Lord come up and the praises of the Lord go up and the joy of the Lord come down and the blessings of God be over us tonight. We pray for our Holy Ghost covering of the Word of God. We pray that every heart will leave your strength and knowing they came to worship, they came to receive, they came to be blessed to the Lord, and you have that blessing for them. Praise the name of the Lord. We thank you, God, tonight. We believe you're here. We receive your blessing, and we receive your fellowship, and receive the Holy Ghost tonight, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We worship you right now, Lord. We worship you right now. We praise you right now. We give you the glory right now. We lift our voices right now. We praise your name right now. Praise the Holy God. Praise the mighty God. Praise the good God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Jesus, you're so sweet and you're so good. Rose of Sharon, Lily of the Valley, mighty morning star. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And with uplifted hands and bountiful hearts, we cry out, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He lives tonight. He lives. He lives. He lives. He lives. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank God. Aren't you glad he lives tonight? He lives. He is our Savior. He is our Lord. And he is the one that loves us so much. Would you imagine, oh, would you come and receive the offering, please? Praise the name of the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Praise our God. Thank you, Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's go to imagine, oh, Lord. Amen. Thank you for this elder of the church. God bless you, Brother Dad. Uh, I know from my business perspective, as I've given to the church, God has always blessed my business Amen. on it. Amen. In my personal life, we have never been able to, we have never gone hungry. Never. We've been able to pay our bills. We've yeah. taken care of our children on that. And it's time that we pay, as the Bible says, yeah. pay your tithes, your 10%, You'll never go hungry. I know. Amen. So Praise let's God. all do our part. Yes. Pay our tithes. Give an offering if you can. The convention was expensive. You've heard it on it. I know firsthand. Uh, we we spent some money on it, uh, but the Lord's covered a lot of it on it through the uh, the blessings of our Praise Jesus. Okay. Yes. So. Let's go with the uh, band has something ready.
that we sing for us. Praise yeah. our God. Yeah. We have been sung in a long time. And I, I, I know God uses his children to sing and uses his people to minister. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I believe the Holy Ghost wants to bless you today. Praise God. Amen. 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 yourself and say, the Lord wants to bless me tonight. I want, a, I want a blessing from God. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I go back to old time Pentecost. And I remember those ten meetings I was in when I was a boy. Uh, God would just raise up women and men to sing. Raise up ministers to minister a message. Somebody to tell about a miracle, and the glory of God came in. Praise the name of the Lord. God is a good God. Amen. Amen. The blood that Jesus shed for me. Say that.
corrupt, but there was something about Christ's blood. Well, he went willingly to that cross for you and I. And when his blood fell to the ground, it fell to the ground. It wasn't just lost there. But it flowed to the highest mountain. And it will flow to your darkest mountain. You know, I hear lots of times, well, I wish I was up on top of the mountain. But you know, I got to thinking about that. Come on. What brings up on top of the mountains? Come on, brother. All right. Not a bloody thing. How do you think? It's cold. It's windy. There's a lot of snow up there. Yes, right. But what grows in the valley? Why is it that Jesus said that I am the rose of Sharon, the lily of the valley? He's your lily. Oh, yeah. But he said, I am the rose of Sharon. Yeah. I am the lily of your valley. Yeah. You going through a valley tonight? Yeah. Are you going through a low place? Right. Christ's blood is there for, for you. Yeah. Come on. It reaches to the highest mountain. Yeah. But it's also flowing to the lowest, to the lowest valley. Yeah. Yeah. And he said, I'll never lose power. Though I be dead, I will rise again. Rise again. Rise. And that's the hope that we have here tonight. Yes. That's the hope that Christ gave us. Yes. Though we all die, yes. because our bodies are flesh, we all will die. Yes. But we have a hope in our hearts we that we will rise again. Oh, praise the Lord. We will be with God in heaven. Yes. Someday. His blood will never lose its power. Yeah. Sing that chorus one more time with me. Yeah, praise God. Oh, I'm in reaching. 